All right, we're live. What is going on? It's Jeff with the Teach Better team and Dave with the Teach hello, Better team. Hello, hello, hello. It is Wednesday, November 25th, 2020. And it's almost Thanksgiving here in the States, which is super cool and exciting. Uh, you got us for the next 60 minutes or so. Sometimes we go over, let's be real. Uh, we're going to do giveaways every 15 minutes. We got some games we want to throw at you guys and see if you're going to pick what games we're going to play. And hopefully they're going to lead to some embarrassing either answers or lack of no, answers no. throughout the next hour or so no. stick around with us and, and, and grab a drink if you don't have one already and uh come take a break with us hey Hey, what's going on, Dave? So, Are you, you sipping coffee in the afternoon here? I you got, got a late coffee. night of cooking, huh? I, I got to get ready to cook tomorrow. I'm a... <laughs> uh, who are you kidding? You know it started last night. Yeah, it did. I, I was up all night with it. Um, so <laughs> I want this. I wasn't gonna share, but I'm like, I'm gonna share it because we talked about embarrassing. Uh, so <laughs> I wrote the date on a sticky and put it on my computer because. Every week, I'm always like, and it's, it's Wednesday. What What's today? I always forget. And I think sometimes people think I'm joking. Nope. That was a sticky. Needed it to, to make it through today. So um, that just had to happen, man. Now, do you have a sticky note identifying who's running Master Chat tomorrow night? Because here's your 55-minute warning to figure that out. Okay. There you go. There you go. Well done. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna call that one out, but thanks. Uh, yeah, I do. That, that's there. Um, Hopefully. Oh, uh, anyway, if you're chiming in, let us know where you're at. Let us know where you're listening, both geographically and on what platform are you listening on. And say what's up. Come in the comments. Say, uh, let us know what's going on. Love to see if you can jump in. And let us know if you're in the states. How are you celebrating Thanksgiving? If you're not in the states, do you still celebrate Thanksgiving? Because I know a lot. I have some Canadian friends who still celebrate. They'll celebrate tomorrow because why not? Wow, like, let's do well, it. A lot of times they have family in the States, but maybe they don't always okay. come home, but they still celebrate because they're like, um, excuse to have some extra drinks. I'm turkey. Right. Like, let's do it. So, you know. Any excuse for an extra Labatt is a good excuse. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. That's true. Uh, what's up, Nikki? Carrie's here. Good to see you, Carrie. Kate. Kate's in the house. Carly Spina is in the house. Lindsay, hi Lindsay, how are it's you? It's like a who's we'll who of some of my favorite people that are just joining oh, us right here. This is fun. Crew. Like we're we're good. Uh, this is awesome right now. Um, well, first off, how you how are you doing? How how are things? What's going yeah. on with you? Um, I'm good. You know, people that are listening right now might hear a little something different in my voice. I don't know how much people pay attention to that or not, is but fear? yeah, that's exactly it. No, no, but yesterday it was, I was called out during the mastermind because people could tell there was something going on with me. Just going to put it out there. It is allergies. All the tests have been run. There is nothing contagious happening here. So we joke that allergies are like the scarlet letter. Now, if, if you have the allergies, oh, yeah. if you sniffle in public, you're done for. So, um, yeah. just allergies, I promise. So all is good. Yeah. So, um, we're still working on all the other tests to figure out like what's actually wrong with Dave, but well, as, yeah, whatever. Know, he's, 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 <laughs> let uh, let the audience going? decide, let them build their <laughs> list. Right. <laughs> I'm loving this. Everyone jumping in. Neil. Good to see you. He says bourbon on the way. Brittany Wolf. Happy birthday, Brittany. Uh, she's going to celebrate by eating as much mashed potatoes as possible. Mark Horner's here. Danielle. So we're on, we got Twitch going on. Uh, Cherie's wow. on. Is it Cherie or Sherry? I I love the nose. So I say that properly, but I love that you're on Face or on YouTube right now. Appreciate that. They're just doing um, all the things here. CMS principal. Who is that? I can't. The picture. I can't tell who that is. Oh, there it is. Um, I don't know. Dean co-host unlocked the middle. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Appreciate it, Dean. Cheers. Good to see. You. I wasn't reading. I should have read it before I said I didn't. I couldn't see the picture. You got the pictures for me are really small. Um, over here. Neil just woke up from a nap. Vicky good to knows see how to live you. life. Lindsay Burns is in the house. Good to see you. Staying home this Thanksgiving. Um, gotcha. Okay. Well, can, Lindsay can Burns, one of our from, new from mastermind does. friends. Love yes. that. Yes. Always awesome to see you. Nikki's just here to win all the stuff. <laughs> Uh, Neil giving a shout out to Brittany as, as for a happy birthday as well. I love this. We got a lot of crew. We got a crew That's awesome. I'm digging this. This is exciting. A lot so, of expectations sorry. today. 
So stick with us because we are going to give stuff away. I got some stickers. I got a book. I got a shirt. Um, we're going to give away Dave's door, like the whole thing. Whatever. Yeah, right if you now. want it, it's, it's yours. Available. Uh, we may give away some swag codes um, and stuff like that. But we're going to – Dave and I have like we, – we actually thought like this was um, – this is a big moment. We actually sort of thought through today a little bit. Like, okay, hey, it's time out, to Jeff. Play games. Jeff, hold on, hold on. Let's set the record straight. Twenty minutes ago, we started texting, saying, "Huh, does this work for you? What about this idea?" We, we don't don't lead too much in this. It was twenty minutes ago, man. Was it twenty or was it like fifteen? Well, <laughs> it was, yeah, it was about twenty minutes. Yeah, you're right. It was about twenty. Um, but that that's more than we normally that's progress. think through. It's this. baby steps. So yeah, I'm, you're right. I'm I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, so we're trying to figure out what you, what we wanted to do. Uh, I've got like a random trivia game. Did you get into that other game that I, the site game or no? I I didn't open it up, but you were talking me through it and it sounds amazing. Don't worry about, I've also got, um, I've also got some questions that are like the most likely two. So we can do like a trivia where Dave and I will, will, will quiz each other on trivia and, you guys will participate too, and we'll see which one of us answers the most horribly. Um, uh, or I, I kind of like the if we did the who's most likely to, I think we could pose that question, and and then the chat, everyone watching can jump who they think is most likely to out of you and me. Oh, good really lord! Entertaining to see what everyone thinks about us. Okay. Or you have what do you have there? I've got I've got a couple options. We got two truths and a lie, which is always a classic. So we can try to figure out how well we know each other. Um, I also have Trivial Pursuit, the 80s edition. So if we, we really want to act like a couple of old men, we can just. Granted, I was I was fully alive and living life in the 80s, and you were just getting started. So, you know. Yeah, not fair. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm coughing because I laughed while I was drinking. Um, so if you can, in the comments right now, let us know. Do you want us to do random trivia from this online thing that I found? Do you want us to, do you want to play... Um, and you get to pick out of Dave and I um, who's most likely to, and I'll read off a bunch of stuff. Or do you want to do two truths and a lie? Do you want us to go through that? Or do you want to do 80s a Trivial Pursuit where we'll just ask questions back and forth? We're going to take the, the next couple minutes for you to run through and figure out, you tell us what you want us to do. And we'll go from there. I see Kylie is also watching. Good to see you, uh, Kylie. Um, 80s was the best decade, hands down. I'm not going to argue with you. You know, I think that's that's fair. So, what is your plan for for Turkey Day? Like, I am going to get up. I am going to get up bright and early, and uh-huh. go for uh, a somewhere between a ten and thirteen mile run. Um, why? So that I can eat all the things for the rest of the day and not feel a shred of guilt. Yeah. That's the That's only it. reason Dave runs at all. That's it. So that he can eat. I, I run 364 days a year, <laughs> so one day I can just feast. That's right. So um, actually, it'll be 365 because I'm actually running tomorrow too. So I will be running tomorrow uh, somewhere in the double digits. But do, but do you feast enough so that you, you can't run the next day? And that's how Oh, that, that's a work? good point. Yeah. Actually, that's true. Uh, Black Friday, back in the good old days, I would wake up super early. Uh, I would do Black Friday shopping. Basically, I would go get Starbucks and people watch, but um, I would do that and then go home and just sleep the rest of the day. So typically, I didn't didn't run on Black Friday. So, so Black Friday for you is like Black Friday because you like black out for me and all the pretty much, yeah, yeah. It's <clears throat> it's it's like the hangover day. It's the day where you're just fully recovered. You're not quite sure what's going on. Um, not enough coffee in the world. But I, I would justify it. I would say I was going to go shopping. I'd normally come home with like one box of Christmas lights or something just to prove I was actually out shopping. Um, but this year it's gonna be different. Yeah, yeah this I year. Just, I've always liked to go out just to go out. I usually don't even buy anything, but fact because like it takes so long to go through the lines. I just like going out because it's like this. I don't know. It's an event. It's an aside. It's an event. And, like so yeah. going on. So uh, not gonna happen this year. Uh, good to see you, Michelle. Uh, this year though, Dan since Krinus is right? in here, keep the f- gravy flowing for Dave. My man, that's right. No, but this year instead of going and getting coffee, I might just sit down in front of my computer and you know hang out for a daily drop in or something. We'll we'll see. You um, should do that. I should. I we should. will be here. We will be live tomorrow morning, eight thirty a.m. Eastern time. Ray and I will be here. Um, and we will be talking probably a little bit, of, quite a bit about how it is or is not going for me starting Turkey 
the turkey and, and Thanksgiving dinner. So the parades are all fake tomorrow anyway, so you're going to be my pregame kickoff. I'm going to watch you and then roll right into the it's Lions. The it's going to be one train wreck after another. I'm looking forward to it. Like when you say fake, I, mean, I always watch the parade on TV anyway, so like, does it matter? Well, I guess, but see, I'm it, a guy from Detroit. We've got the America's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It's one of those nationally televised ones. And traditionally, I would go run the turkey trot and then freeze my butt off watching the parade. Uh, but this year, Macy's, Detroit, everything is no crowd. So they're literally just filming people walking real slow down the middle of an empty street. So Interesting. Yeah. So they, they, are they, they're actually filming it, just no one's uh-huh. able to No, go it's there. illegal to watch them. It's illegal to be there and watch so from the still, street. But, but, but it's still the same thing. So it's literally the same. Yeah, I guess on TV, TV it is. Yeah, I, mean, I understand. So part of part of watching on TV is you get to see the crowd, and that's kind of nice. Like, I guess it's sort of like watching football on TV now with no crowd. They'll, but they'll probably have some fake noise, and I don't know. Yeah, my, I have always been like, oh, so if you don't like watching football with other crowds, then you don't really like football. But see, like what I was saying, Jeff, is that I would rather watch you tomorrow than the parades. Mm-hmm. And now you're putting the pitch on. Maybe I will just go watch the parades. Maybe um, that's maybe that's where no. I'll go. So let's scratch the last five minutes. Uh, <laughs> okay. Enjoy me and Ray for the drop in. It's gonna be a good time. Um, to too many people, too people. <clears throat> We're still looking for what are we doing? Are we doing the eighties? <clears throat> so my voice is going. Are we doing the eighties trivial pursuit, Dave and I? Are we doing are you are you all gonna play I, would, I say we ease into that trivial pursuit. That that's gonna be that's gonna be a disaster for us. Can we maybe we'll start with let's st- I want to start I want yeah. everyone else I want them, I want everyone else to play because not everyone gets to be, you know, on camera with you. But we're yeah. gonna be able to play with Dave Schmidow. So I think we're gonna start with the uh who is most likely to and have everyone answer. Okay. I want to ask. Let me ask you this. Um, I've worked retail, so like I know this, but I think some people don't even know this either. Like with about Black Friday, like is it common knowledge like why it's called Black Friday? Dave, I think so. Think? Okay. I think so. I hope so. I was gonna say like that. Maybe that's a really easy one to do for our first giveaway. It's just if you can explain why it's called Black Friday. I think I don't know. Like I've met people who don't know it, why. Huh. I'm like, oh, but I've worked in that space before. Like you learn about it when you're there from people, but. Okay. Anyway, anyway, I just just curious. So if you don't know, do your research. That might be a, that might be a question. So yeah, might be a question. Um, all right. So let's do let's do this. Let's do um. Let me look through here. So I got most likely. I'm nervous so some, now, man. There's like categories, Dave. There's most likely to forget, most likely to get. Which, by the way, the very first one that's most likely to get punched in the face. Oh, um, that's not fair. Most likely to go. Um, most likely to own, most likely to fall. All right, uh, I'm pulling it up fall. right now so I can make sure you're not just ma- manufacturing questions to get people to say they want to punch me in the face. <clears throat> All okay. right, let's do These are some good ones. Um, here we go. Uh, let's do, let's do this one too. I, I'm going to, I'm going to see, I'm going to put this up on screen. If I can do this quickly. So we're going to do this, um, out of Dave and I. You answer in the comment, most likely to forget the wedding Ooh. anniversary. Oh. Oh, this isn't going to go well for either one of us. If you're if either one of us right gets, now, this gets, game, this gets uh, really, really boring and bad if you don't comment right now. So stop just watching Carrie Pitstick and get in here and actually answer. I just happen to see that she's watching. <laughs> um, so she's the one. Sorry, Carrie, you got picked because you're the most recent name I saw. I feel um, like no matter what people answer, I want to hear their explanation too. I'd really like. <laughs> well, see, right away, that's that's not cool. YouTube crowd coming in strong for me. I love supporting Jeff. Dave's gonna forget. These are the people that know me. Oh, <laughs> sweet Jesus! Look at this. All right, let's play oh, Trivial Pursuit. Love everyone so much. <laughs> no, I think they just know that oh, you're a softy. You're oh a softy. Oh my gosh! You're a softy, and they they just know that you're like this mushy, soft, wow. Rom- um, okay. Fun fun story. Um, first time I ever went up to Canada. Uh, you know, I because um, well, first first time my wife and I ever went up to Canada, which was you know my only like second time ever going up to Canada and going through customs and stuff. Um, so we've been married, but we've only been married for how is it? Just a year at this this point. I guess we had gone through before, but it's the first time we going through as a married couple. On the way back home, it was the first time I got a U.S. custom agent that was kind of. I don't want to say mean because they're just doing a job, but like he was a little more serious, a little more like I'm going to throw you in jail attitude. Okay, uh, which you get some every now and then. And um, he asked me, he like he was like ripping questions at me, but he's very like, if you say one thing wrong, I'm like gonna, I'm like nervous at the point at this point. And he asked, he's like, 
oh yeah and, and this is your wife and i said yeah and he goes, when we guys married and like i stumbled for a half second he goes and like that's where he like almost like he broke character he goes "Ooh, sleeping on the couch tonight and hands me back my passport and i'm like of all the things like so maybe you're all wrong um i'm seeing more here look at this yeah Carrie's okay laughing. i can only assume carrie's laughing at you um i appreciate that right there team jeff wow not watching uh good to see you over there uh, Dave, only because I know Jeff uses his calendar for everything. See, okay, that's fair. You're just you have more tools Jeff at your disposal. Sweet anniversary picks on that's Facebook. True. Hanging out at the zoo, I remember this. Yeah, or at least most things I do. Um, I don't forget our anniversary. I'm I'm a hopeless romantic, sappy. You know, I'd actually think it's more likely that my wife would forget our anniversary than me. Just okay. All right. Just saying. Okay. Uh, do you want to pick one? Sure. Um, that, that one went well. I like that. That did go well um, for you. Um, <laughs> that's true. That's, that's a good point. Let's see. Um, Tell me where are you going to so I can try and find it and put it up. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the most likely to get. Okay. Um, Give me a number first and I'll grab it. 19. 19. So <laughs> thinking about the team or the group that you hang with, um, most likely to get the whole gang in trouble. Oh, most likely I, to I get the whole gang over. in trouble. I thought I deleted the previous one, but I didn't. So most likely to get the whole gang in trouble. Interesting. Huh. Oh, and uh, we're back. So maybe we can work on work this like his, his yearbook. Your book superlatives, like most likely to succeed, oh, most yeah, likely yeah, yeah, to, yeah. yeah. Dave, okay. So, Dave, when is your anniversary? June 17th. I got it. I'm good. No worries. <laughs> Guys, don't worry. I texted him a couple minutes ago. I appreciate that. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Jeff, he had the idea of 12 hours. Yeah. Good point. Good, good point. point. Yeah. I, I agree. This is a tough one because I could see either one of us taking the team and, and getting all kinds of trouble. <laughs> um, and, and I imagine the same when we were like we were younger, running around with friends, possibly too. You did announce that Teach Better 2022, the conference, is in Vegas, right? I mean, did, is that public knowledge yet or no? No? Okay. I don't know. I, I already forgot. Um, <laughs> that's an interesting thought. We could take over like like the Bellagio maybe or something. Boom. Like, there you go. That'd be fun. Um, it, so Michelle's going yeah, on there too. There we 12 go. hours and then wanted to keep going. I did. Yeah. Like my third win or fifth win or whatever. Um, so that's good. Um, as far as the team goes, I, I honestly, probably Dave, I really think out of the two of us, just in the context of the team, I'm more likely to get us all in trouble. I think you're more likely to be a little more level headed with stuff. Well, I, I, I think I'm still, I'm still a little cautious. Give me some time. I'm still a little cautious right now. I, I, I had to read the room and figure out who's going to go along for the ride. And you're at that point now. You're like, let's go just hitch a wagon and let's ride. So Jeremy wrinkles in the house. Good to see you, brother. Um, Adam Connors is in the house. Good to see you, Adam. Jeremy's in for Vegas, so that's good. Boom. We're, we're good to go. Um, what a long night of trouble with both of you. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. What a um, long night of epic memories. Come on. Are, are you a Vegas guy? Have you been to Vegas? I've been to Vegas a few times. I don't know if I'm a Vegas guy. I'm, you go to Vegas, and then after you, you leave, you got, got a Lysol and bleach yourself and all that. Um, I'm more likely to hang out. This is gonna. I'm so horrible. I'm gonna just blast people, but I'm more likely to hang out in Vegas than I am in New Orleans. I've been to New Orleans a couple times too, and New Orleans has that same vibe for me. Um, and that's weird, seeing as I spend a lot of time in Detroit and Flint, and um, and I would rather hang out in Detroit and Flint than Vegas or New Orleans. I don't know. I don't know. Just give me a nice beach, an umbrella drink, sunshine and waves. I'm good. I'm good. I um. I've been to Vegas three, three times, and um, I really like it. Like it's like I'm like I wouldn't live there or anything like that. Although I did actually, no, I've been to four times. Um, I would live outside the city. There's some really nice places there, but I I just enjoy. I, one of the things I like the first time I was there, we went out at like three a.m. and we're walking down the street, and like there was a, a a bar open with like a really cool like live music, like jazz stuff. I'm like, it's three a.m. This is awesome. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um. And uh, we all, and then we had a night where we were, I was pretty sure for for a moment in time, I'm pretty sure the table we were at was like 
the loudest table in all of Vegas. Like that's where we got to. We were we we went up. Me and it was two, me and two of my buddies, and uh, we started this game. We went in with literally four dollars and quarters, and we went up several hundred dollars. Wow! Because it was like this. It was one of the little um, it's a horse betting. So it has like the plastic horses go around. And you bet on the horses and stuff. And we were going and like we started like we we're tipping people. And people come up and they'd be like, we'd yell, we're like, hey, are you in? And they'd be like, no. And we'd throw them quarters and be like, you're in now. But a lot of it was my buddy. I, I had this, my, my buddy Tom, he's basically Vince Vaughn reincarnated. Um, so, like, he's just super charismatic and, like, he's that guy. He's a magician and, like, he just, like, pulls people in and stuff. And he was just – and so it was really cool. And this is something really cool about Vegas is, like, we had so many different countries represented at this table all hanging out and drinking and, and gambling. It was, like, a really cool, you know – just moments That's to cool. like hang out with like you know people there were people there you know from that were up from from Mexico people from over in England or someone from uh, um, Australia like I mean it's just like everywhere so they've got like all these different accents and like we're the ones with the accents and they're like, <laughs> around and it's just they're calling us Ohio and all this stuff like it was just it was just a good time so That's fun. I enjoy Vegas. I think we're going back next week. Okay. Uh, me too, Jeremy. I really like the people watching stuff. It's really good. I was you know I I went down. That that year, I went down really early, and then we went and played. We we sat down on the table for um, what was it called? Let it ride. And second hand, I went up and broke even, and I just quit. <laughs> and the dealer was like, "Did he really just walk away? Like after winning two hands? Like I'm like, no, nah, I'm done. I'm out of here." So. <laughs> Aaron's in the house. And so I, I'm just curious with, with all that information that you just provided. I'm wondering if anybody wants to change their answer or if that just confirmed their answers. Cause when you I go to probably. Vegas, I go so I can go to church so that I can um, minister to people on the streets. So no, I'm just kidding. Um, sorry. I just, I won't even get into the story where we, where we convinced where we got into the nightclub at the or MGM Graham because we tricked them into believing that a guy that I work with, Eric was famous. Okay. Because we, a bunch of us, we were all we were dressed up. We were all we all put on black because we were there for an event. So we all had black suits. We put them on. We put earpieces in, and we pretended like we were his crew. And I'm not. He's a guy. It was all his idea. We just played along with him, and we got him them to let us in the VIP room in the the club back there. And That's we, awesome. And like, the thing about when you're in a place like Vegas is if you act like someone's important and famous, people just assume. There's somebody. People that's just, that's life. You, it works at airports too. Yeah. So people are taking this picture. My buddy Tommy, who's just that guy, like he's grabbing people's cameras and he's saying, and he's a big guy. So like he looks like a bodyguard. He's snagging cameras and being like, no pictures. I'm like, it was nuts. <laughs> so yes, I'm pretty sure in, in any instance like that, I would probably get us all in trouble. Anyway. That's amazing. You know, whatever. I, that's I, amazing. I just went way too far into that. I apologize to everybody. Um, Let's look for another one here. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Um, sorry, some of these would be really good, but I'm not going <laughs> to. <laughs> Maybe another time. Yeah. Um, oh, uh. Be, no, I think people already know that. Sorry, I was going to. The, yeah, we'll go this. This this be an interesting one to see. Because I don't know the answer to this either. Okay. Uh, where's my banner? All right, here we go. Most likely to go sky. Uh, why does it bring up the same thing? It's like I it's think that edited. answer was you. Oh, sorry. It's not editing. It's showing. There it is. Most likely okay. to go skydiving. I'll wait for some answers to roll in. This is a good one. Uh, while we're doing that, we, we're like two behind, so we have to give some some things away here. We got two oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so let's get this one done, and then we'll give something away. Uh, out of Dave and I, most likely to go skydiving. I'm curious. <laughs> Brain breaks transforming into. <laughs> Gather around. Uh, we have stories to Dave, tell. Dave, Dave, let's keep him coming. Most likely to go skydive. Uh, I see a lot more people watching that are answering, and I'm not okay with so that. So let, let, let Uncle our, Dave. Look at our YouTube, the YouTube, Team YouTube. Like, They're coming in strong. Bringing it today. 
So let, let Uncle Dave tell a story. Uncle Dave has actually been skydiving. Have you been skydiving, Jeff? I haven't, and I won't. Okay. Like, that's why I was curious. So, I'm like, I bet Dave's gone. I have. So gather around, boys and girls. So this dates us back to 1996. So back in 1996, I had just met... Okay, yes, yes, boys and girls. <laughs> Uncle Dave is here. No, um, 1996, I had just been dating the woman who's now my wife for, I don't know, um, six months or so. And uh, my birthday rolled around and she thought, hey, it'd be a great idea. Let me surprise him by having him go skydiving. So she booked uh, a skydiving adventure for me uh, in the college town that we lived. And she invited my parents to drive up from where they lived at the time. And at the time, they lived in Kentucky and we were up in Michigan. So my parents um, made the, the eight hour drive. And then we got a call the night before um, that, I, and I still had no idea what was going to happen, but we got a call um, on her house phone because cell phones weren't invented. I'm that old um, saying that skydiving was canceled. The guy I was supposed to jump with hurt his back, taking somebody up that day. So he wouldn't be able to go skydiving. So Rachel, my now wife, comes and tells me about the whole thing. And I looked at her and said, thank God, because I would have felt so horrible. I don't want to do this at all. This is God's way of saying I'm not supposed to do it. Thanks for the kind thoughts. Now we can just hang out with my parents and not have to go skydiving. Fast forward the next year, she says, I'm going to try it again because there's no way he'll, he'll suspect it. So literally the exact same thing. She books it, tries to surprise me, invites my parents up. And a windstorm comes up the day of. We're literally driving to the airport where I have no idea where we're going. I'm like this is a big mystery and, um, get to the airport, um, where I'm, I'm now starting to freak out thinking, Oh my God, you did this again. And they say, sorry, we have to cancel. It's too windy. So I said two strikes again, God is saying not supposed to happen. Stop it. Now we fast forward four four or five years later. And, uh, it is the year 2001, I think it is. And she tells me, sorry. She tells me now ahead of time, it's like a, a Thursday night. I'm supposed to go skydiving on Saturday. Heads up. I, uh, I got you skydiving for your birthday this year. And just so you know, it's non-refundable, non-transferable, no backing out. So you have to do it. And I'm telling you in advance, just so you can try to prep yourself. Oh, I didn't sleep for two days. It was awful. I was the most terrified I've ever been in my life. We show up at the airport that Saturday for me to go skydiving. And if you can picture uh, a 90 year old ZZ Top lead guitarist. I don't even know one of them, but Billy literally, Gibbons? The, sure, you whatever. His name is. Billy Gibbons? Well, I, I walk up and the, the guy sticks out his hand, introduces himself to me. Um, the name was Larry. I know that he was wearing flip flops, overalls, and had a beard down to his knees. Um, he says, "Hi, my name is Larry. I'll be your your host today. I've um, made more than five thousand jumps, and most of them have been successful. This is going to be a lot of fun." <laughs> it was awful. Full, awful. Let me just—it is horrendous. I when we go up in the plane, we're above the the clouds, and he's shoving me. I can't talk. And then my wife also paid for a videographer to jump out with us because back then there was no such thing as GoPros. So a guy jumps out in front, and he's filming the whole thing. You can literally see like tears dripping down my cheeks because I'm freaking out. Um, it, I will never, ever, ever do it again. Literally the most terrifying experience of my life. I can say I did it. I, I've got it up on my YouTube channel somewhere from way back then, but I will never, I ever, was, ever do it again. I was legit waiting for the, and it was amazing. Nope, there's none of that. My my videographer actually gets lost. He gets to see me jumping out of the plane, and then he gets lost and lands in a farmer's field like 10 miles away because apparently it was his first time doing such a thing. Um, and it was just, it was an absolute cluster disaster, and I'm done. Absolutely done. But I did it. I did it, I, I, but I will never I, do it again. Honestly, I expected it because most people who I know that have gone that are, were terrified, they go back and they're like, oh, it was amazing. They may not go again, but they're like, oh, it was an amazing experience. I yeah, got a buddy, uh, actually a mentor of mine. I actually talked, well, I actually mentioned him in the book and like I've been, and a really good friend of mine. He's He went and he, he go, he's he gone a bunch. He's actually going to, like, he wants to go get certified to jump with people and stuff. And he has tried so many times over the last 10 years. And I'm like, no, I'm like, look, I need you to understand something. I'm like, this isn't a, oh no, I'm scared. I don't want to go. I'm like, I've literally, like, I'm scared, but I also like, I've literally never had even the slightest bit of an urge to go. You know, it's yeah. never been anything. I, I've never even been like, I wonder what that's like. I'm like, no, I have zero desire to ever know what that's like. That's just, I don't think I ever did either. Um, it might've been like on my bucket list at some point when I was like 10 or something when I was watching Top Gun and I don't know, but 
since I've been a grown adult, they want to jump out of it. That, well, I know, but it was just the idea of, Ooh, that maybe I could do that. Maybe I could do what goose did, couldn't do. I, so I don't know. Um, but it, I, it's now that I've experienced it and I know how horrific it is. There is no way it's like a baby, you know, that first shot they get, they're kind of ignorant. They're like, Ooh, that kind of hurt. Then the second time they see the doctor coming with the needle, they freak out. That's me. I know how terrifying it is. So stay away. It's not going to happen anymore. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. All right, let's give something away. Um, okay, sounds good. First person to comment and explain why it's called Black Friday. And we will do your pick. I'll show you what we have, and you can pick from what you want. Ah, Carrie says she got a video, but never again. Yeah, I just... Boom. Jeez. Boom. And look uh, where she's coming okay. from, too. I'm I'm gonna give you that, but it, it actually doesn't sh say that doesn't actually explain why it's called Black Friday. That's a that's a true well, statement that accountants use Black to signify profit, recording, and it's not just the days, but it's but it's everything. Why do they call that? So Aaron actually got it. So Black Friday used to be. It's not always now, but for most apartment stores, most apartment stores, even the biggest and most successful in the world, would the entire year from January 1 until Thanksgiving be in the negative. They would be, they were losing money. They had non, no profit and on by Friday that was what got them into the black and that's why it's called Black Friday. Interesting. Now it's I don't think it works that way because everyone runs Black Friday sales from like start all year of September. long. Um, yeah. We've got one going on right now that's been going on a week so like You do? Yeah. Uh, I do over at uh, we do over at uh, teachbetterswag.com and at um What's the other one? In the courses. In the courses. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um, <laughs> so let's see here. Um, so Kate, well, Kate says she looked it up. I get it. Um, down in the market, retailer, sell enough stuff to put them in the black. Christy, I think that's the most accurate. Um, Aaron also says it. Also, that's when store, stores go into the black. Um, we go, we'll go both ways. Christy and Aaron, you both get it. Let me know. I, I apologize, Kate. I'm being very... You're just being rude now. And rude she came to you from Twitch, too. That's just rude, Ooh, Gargas. Yeah. Kate, you might just win because you're on Twitch. There you go. You're welcome, Kate. Remember that. All right, Liz. It's Thanksgiving. I'm so thankful for everyone being here. Kate, you email me, too. Kate, Aaron, and Christy, everybody email me, jeff at teachbetter.com. I've got... I have some Teachers Deserve It stickers. I've got some Teach Better stickers. I've got Teach Better book. I've got a shirt. And you know what, Jeff? I think that's fair. Looking at the time, we've been going on for 30-something minutes. First yeah. prize to give away. That sounds reasonable. I will say You're this. Good. for I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give those away based on who who gets my, the email to me sooner. So give me your, your three choices of those. So in case someone gets me first. And, I mean, it's shirts. i got plenty for everyone. But um, I love it. And we're good. Um, all right, Dave, you want to pick another one? Or we want to do something different now. Do we want to move to you want to do 80s trivia? Bring that on. Let's, let's do one of those. Okay, we can okay. use that as the next giveaway. Oh, Lord have mercy! Trivia. Of course, see, everyone else is Google and stuff. Like, I can't I can't hide it as well. Like, if I'm sitting here like this, you guys are gonna figure out what I'm doing. Like, oh, these are these are legit, these aren't like uh, what president was president in 1984 or. What TV show was Alex P. Keaton on? These are these are legit. So, um, I don't know either one of those, anyways. You don't know Alex P. Keaton? No, who's Alex P. Keaton? Oh, Jeff Gargas. That's the question right now. All right, throw them on the comments. What TV show was Alex P. Keaton on? Not even on the, but you got to know this one, people. Come on. Is it related to Michael Keaton? No, no, Alex P. Keaton. You guys got to know this one. Like if you if if when we get to the answer, you explain it to me, and it's something I don't know, you're gonna feel really old. Just <laughs> <laughs> Nikki's got it. Yes, it says Michael J. Fox on Family Ties. Alex P. Keaton. Oh, is that what his name was? That's it. That's it. I re I remember that show, but I remember that show as it was a show that was on TV because my parents watched it. And I was, I was mm. younger, so. Yeah, that that was like the start of must-see TV, really, when you had mm -hmm. Family Ties, Cosby Show, Cheers, all on um, on Thursday night. That's, yeah, I, I remember watching all of those, but the, I, I was still younger to where I don't think I connected with the characters as much and stuff like that, so. Okay. This is going to okay. be a tough one for me, I think. Yes, it is. 
All right, see if, oh man, I don't know if you, well, I'll do it, whatever. Steve Martin, are you familiar with his work, Steve Martin? I do, I am. Okay, Steve somewhere. Martin was in a movie in which his nose continued to grow. Do you remember the name of that movie? The question is, what is Steve Martin's nosiest movie? Pinocchio? <laughs> no, it's not Pinocchio. Uh, I'm trying, I think, I, I don't think, I've never seen this movie, but I'm trying to think of what, uh, I know I've seen still shot stuff. I don't know. Help me out, guys, because I don't know. Yeah, this, who I'm glad we are not playing this game Let's for real. We would be playing, this, would, this, this game is, would take us longer than Monopoly. This is this intense. Is, Roxanne? Roxanne, yes. Kate, man. Kate That's is just going man. to show that she proves this stuff. Aaron, I just saw your email come through. Thank you. Roxanne. She's actually mm -hmm. seen it too. Kate, I, I was gonna say, like, there's no way you were alive at that point, were you? Kate Young. Roxanne. That's all I can think. Well, of. wrong one, yes. Have you ever played Roxanne before? Ever played Roxanne? Yeah. It's a game? Yeah, it's a game. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm nervous now. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna explain the game here because it's not a it's a it's a uh, adult beverage game. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll explain it. You take a shot every time they say Roxanne. Oh. And then who? It's essentially a last man standing, because uh, it's. All right. That's Miami, Miami University, Ohio. That was the night. Boom! There you go. Roethlisberger. I, okay, I got a question for you. Go. In what city does RoboCop run rampant? Oh, jeez. Where was RoboCop? Oh, where was RoboCop? I don't know that. I can picture. I'm picturing like everything right now. But you better get started, Holly. You're like three hours late if you want to start a game. And I'm gonna get <laughs> done with it before today's over. Or just delegate the properties already and start from there. <laughs> my son actually. My son loves Monopoly. Jonathan does. He's my my daughter knows. does. She loves being the banker. She loves. It's like the control freak in her. But oh, I'm the banker. He just loves trying to get trying to get properties. But then I just I usually wipe him out. And it's how I'm teaching him how to lose gracefully because I don't. But there's no no sympathy. And then I, I I throw him deals as the banker. I'm like, "Will you give me those two? I'll give you this." And do that. <laughs> uh, was it in Detroit? It was Detroit. Somewhere your way. Is that by? Is that by Detroit? That is somewhere. It's right. It's a suburb. <laughs> Boston, so it was Detroit. I couldn't remember what big city it was. Yes, it Boston was Detroit. But I think Boston's too nice to put that kind of move in. Yeah. Detroit makes more sense. Uh, too nice. Oh, okay. Too honest. Too honest. Yeah. Holly likes taking everyone's money. Awesome. All right, We're let's get let's do a let's do a, uh, something different because these are these are intense. But I'll ask one more. Yeah. What Saturday Night Live star? So what Saturday Night Live star, what, what character from Saturday Night Live, what person on Saturday Night Live hit the top 10 with the song Party All the Time? Not an SNL guy. So that was a fucking he came to America right around the, right, the same time, too. Hmm. Now I know. Edward. Yes. He is also from Detroit. He is. That's right. Yes, he yeah. is. Hmm. I like that one to see. Yep. Boom. Christy. Eddie Murphy. Party yeah, all the time. Sweet. There you go. Everyone, all that. Love it. Um. All right, I got some random ones here. Let's see. Um, Bring them. <laughs> what blue collar comedy tour comedian is known for his routine concerning tater salad? Uh. He's always drinking. He's always got a little something on the rocks, and a lot of times he's got. Oh, he's the he's the. Um, they uh, call me Tater Salad. It's it, it's not. So there's like the cable guy. There's Bill Burr. There's Jeff Foxworthy, and then there's the other guy, who is just like profane and. That's, oh, what is his name? He talks. He talks. He talks about getting kicked out of the club. Yeah, what is his name? Ron White. There Ron you go. White, yes. They call me Tater Salad. There you go. Well that played. Was from well, that was from his. I think he first brought that out. I was back in like 2000, 2001, I think, when he when he brought that. Oh, she just calls him Mater. 
Not uh, so it's not he, Larry the Cable Guy is definitely he is one of those, but he is not that one. Let's see what else we got here. Um, <sighs> oh, here's a fun one in the TV show Friends. Okay. Who played the role of Rachel's sister, Jill? Now, there's two stars that oh. play her sisters, but Jill. Mimi, my name, I'll catch a tiger by its toe. She's the one who who sort of dates Ross. Goes on a date with Ross, at least. Friends plays Rachel's sister, Jill. Mm. Boom. Karen Reese, all yeah. over it. Carrie all over it. Then also she saw uh, the the blue collar comedy tour. Time um, we got we got like oh the keys in the house. These dudes. What's up, dude? All right, Dave. Let's keep rolling here. I like this. I like this. All right. Um. Oh, this is a fun one. Um, how did the artist Sting earn his nickname Sting? Oh, I have no idea. I've heard lots of rumors about Sting, but I don't think they apply to this. It um, almost seems too easy, in a way. Um, Christina Applegate, Holly, she played the other sister, which I can't remember the name right now, um, but she plays the other sister that wanted to adopt the baby. Sting? Um, not because he's sweet as honey, I don't know. You're on the right track, though. Does he flit around the stage like a bee? or? You're getting there. Okay. Anybody know, why? how did Sting get his nickname Sting? He wasn't sung by a bee. Although, I mean, he was. <laughs> Maybe he was at some point, but yeah. Sting likes boxing. Okay. <laughs> Not quite so, sure. But. <laughs> so Sting actually got his uh, his nickname because he used to always wear a black and yellow sweater. Really? Where his yeah, I can't remember if his friends or bandmates or what it was that that then gave him that name. Huh. That's cool. That's creative. Um. Let's see what else we got here. Is it okay if I keep pulling these? Yeah, what, whatever. These are fun. These are fun. These are fun. Oh, this is a good one. To see if someone can lay down the year with one of the best love songs in the history of all love songs. 1986. Oh, 1986 is the best for everything. The film oh. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Oh, yes. Or was oh. released in what year? Everything I do. I do it with for the, the Canadian yes. gem that is Brian Adams. Brian Adams, the Brian Adams, yes. So, what year was it? Uh, um, I will it is the movie that, that gave Dave Chappelle his start. Yes, Dave Chappelle is in that movie. Okay. Go back and watch it. <laughs> yep. Wait, a yep. Minute, wrong, <laughs> wrong, wrong, Robin Hood. Oh yeah, that's Men in Tights. I couldn't. I was I'm like, I think he's joking, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I think you were. I don't know. You're talking Prince um, of Thieves, not Men in Tights. Prince yeah. of Thieves, although both are fantastic. Um, so I'm gonna give you a hint. It is actually, um, yeah, Michelle had the had this had the this thing one. It's actually in the 90s. So it is in the 90s. What was it? It's a good one. It's a good one. Think about it. Um, 1981 is not in the 90s. But good guess. Hmm. Oh, this is a fun one that I got next up. Yeah, this is gonna be good because I had no idea. That's I. I hope these are true. Uh, very close. She's See how many? Very close. Oh, boom! There you Michelle go. Michelle got it. 1991 started that decade off the right way. You know, well, Brian Adams, well, Kevin Costner. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Pistons won the championship. Oh, oh sorry. Never mind. Sorry. No, that's, that's that movie hasn't come out yet. <laughs> oh, come on. 89-90 season, 90-91 season. Yes, oh, it's okay. 2004. I'm going to throw this one out just because I don't think anybody's going to get it. Uh, and then we'll give something else away. Uh, what three-letter name did the band formerly known as Slut Bank and Twisted Kites finally settled on? So apparently there was a band 
named Slut Pink and Twisted Kites. And they finally settled on this three-letter name, and they are extremely pop. They are a massive band, one of the, like, an extremely successful band that, honestly, if you don't know this band, you can just not talk to me ever again. But three-letter three letter band name, and it's like there's, you know, there's periods. It's not like a word. It's three letters. Um, if you were, let's see, if one of them were religious, they may or may not have lost it or been in the process of losing it. Um, but that's what their name was originally for. They were in the corner. They had a spotlight. Oh, come on. Um, they understand. Starts with an R. They under, It's not OAR. Um, it ends with an M. They, they understand that we all hurt. And in fact, everybody does. Everybody does, sometimes. Um, they were not there. <laughs> they got there. So REM, apparently, that's why I'm like, I hope these are true. Wow. Because that's a crazy start. Do we know what REM stands for now? No. Someone find out what REM stands for and let us know. Um, that would be a fun one. <laughs> Slump <laughs> Bank and Twisted kit, Kites. <laughs> what? Okay. That's not... What? That's not who even knew? sort of. Who knew? Um, oh, I have another one that's going to be. This one's for me, and I'm going to actually give something away for this. All right. This one is, if you know me, and there's actually something in my background that gives us away, but you really, it's I don't know if you can actually see it. But if you pay attention to me, this has come up certain times here and there, as uh, me being a very big fan, there, you know, of this group. But they released, and this is like their least. This is a very big name band that people know. But this particular album, most people don't know. There was an album titled 7800 Fahrenheit. 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 Who was the band that put that out? It came out in the 80s. And if you win this one, you can pick anything, any one item from our swag store, and I'll buy it for you. Oh, and by the way, R.E.M. Rapid Dream Eye State Movement. Rapid Condition. Mm. Rapid Eye Movement. Okay. Good to know. I mean, that's kind of like Slut Bank and Kitty Kite. Or whatever <laughs> they're they're synonymous. They're Days synonymous for sure. Dave, do you know this one? I don't know. If you look right there, that's not a help. That looks like an album. It is an album. Sign. Yeah, that doesn't help me. Oh, look at that! Now, Michelle, did you Google so, it or did you know? So here's the thing: I, I know that you're like this huge Bon Jovi fanatic. Met the guy, like love John Bon Jovi type of person. You got to tell the story behind this album behind you, then. Oh, uh, so that's a signed album by Bon Jovi. I don't know, John Bon Jovi signed it. Slippery and wet, which That's is the, sweet. You know, the, the thing that kicked it off. Um, so I actually have, I have boxes of, of of stuff of signed things. Of, I have a guitar signed by him and Richie. I've got, um, you know, David I all their albums twice on CDs plus David Bryan's album, Richie's album, all their album. I've got artwork from Tico. I've got all kinds of stuff, and I've never put it up because I'm like, nope. I need to get to the the bigger house because I'm gonna have a, I want a, like a uh, I want a music room and that's gonna be a, a okay. start of it. There's so a let's lot of other music stuff too. But. Let, let's play make believe then. Let's imagine that you could go back to like 1988. Okay, whoa, whoa, but you're 80. you're your age whoa, now. Whoa, you're... whoa, whoa! What's going on, Nikki? Yeah, well, sorry. Explain yourself. <laughs> so you're going back to 1988, but you're the same age you are now. So you're mature. You know good music, all that kind of stuff. But you have your you. choice. Gotcha. Okay, go ahead. Wow. Okay. So, but you have your choice. In 1988, do you and you can, you're going to a concert and you get to go back to the green room and meet everybody. Are you going to see Bon Jovi, Def Leppard, U2, or Guns N' Roses? Oh, Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi in 1988, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're at the height of their career in 1988. All of those guys are though. They all, yeah, they all were, yeah. No, yeah, I probably would. Um, I've actually met everyone in Guns N' Roses except Axel. Okay. Um, all good guys. They're playing in a different band later, but um. Danielle says Prince. I don't think that was on the that list. That wasn't an option, but yeah, it. Prince would be a good one to me too. Yeah, if okay. Prince was in, if Prince was that options, I would definitely consider that. You know, I'm a big Guns N' Roses fan too. I really, especially that era. So that is, that's probably harder than what I would, what I actually think right now. But. So a true story, when I was in um, school, uh, when I was middle school, elementary, I wasn't allowed to listen to Guns N' Roses. So I would listen to Swords and Carnations. That's what I would call them so I could get by it. Same band, same music. But if I was what asked, who is that? Swords and carnations. Um, that was my really? <laughs> that was my code. <laughs> I could get away with it. Yeah. Oh, I don't. Yeah, but I, I, moved where was he going to move him to? New Jersey. They already have a team. I've never heard that that he did that. Hmm. 
look into that. He because he has the well because he has the uh, the Philadelphia Soul, which is the not a NFL team, obviously. Um, but I like that. What do you think creatively? Way to get around that, Dave. Nice Towards job. Incarnations, yeah. I'm always scheming. Absolutely. Nice job. Um, interesting. All right, Let, let's the, do of that of the group you laid out in 1988. Who would you have hung out with? Probably you too. Um, I feel like the rest probably would have all got me arrested or in jail or something. They would have dared me. Just got you into like you know. They would have dared me to do something stupid. And I would have said yes, but you too would have been like, let's go save the planet together. <laughs> And yeah, I was gonna say, you know, yeah, you two would have got you yeah. like to donate the, a, good, a good cause, or right? Something. I would have saved some puppies or some orangutans or something. I mean, just to get into their to like hang out with them to get in their head would be really cool, too, though. Yeah, for sure. Well, who was on that list? Tell, was Motley Crue on that list? It was not, no, it's Def Leppard, okay. Bon Jovi, Guns N' Roses, and you two. Def Leppard would have been, I'm a big Def Leppard fan, too, but I, uh, hysterical, Crue, yeah. Motley Crue's an interesting one because I like, like them, and I'm like, oh, they're cool. But then in, in 2000, I think it was 2001, 2002, somewhere in there, they started touring again. And my buddy Eric, so well, I'm going to throw back Dave a little bit. This was AOL Instant Messenger. Um, date myself a little bit. He he hits me on there. He's like, hey, they're coming. And I'm like, who's coming? And he's like, the crew. And I'm like, the Motley crew? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, all right. He's like, $15 for lawn seats at Blossom, which is our, our big out, the amphitheater. And I'm like, all right, let's go. So we went, and, you know, Tobin, and whatever it went. After that, for the next six, or seven years, or whatever, I saw them twenty times. Oh day. wow! It wasn't twenty. Hold on, it was, uh, it was ten. I'm trying to think. Ten. Or, uh, it was a lot. We saw them like we, we we'd watch them in Cleveland, and then two days later, go see them in Pittsburgh, and then see them again the next year. They put on just a ridiculously good concert. Um, just so entertaining. It's ridiculous. So. Um, but you know what? You know who I should have thrown in that mix? Besides Motley Crue, I, I should have thrown Huey Lewis in the News in that mix. Oh, no, yeah. well, you know, are they? The just... rock and roll, <laughs> right? They made the Back to the Future's trilogy. Come on, that's 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 true. All right, um, we need to give something away. You want to ask something? Give something away? Yeah, um, let's do two truths and a lie, and see who gets the the first one correct. Who who had the oh, first person okay. to get it correct? Two truths and a lie. Okay. Okay. Is that fair? Do you want to do do two truths and a lie, and whoever can determine the lie wins, or do you want me to go? Why don't you go? We just talked a whole lot about me around the whole Bon Jovi thing and stuff. Let's 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 stick to you and stuff. Um, I am a combination of young <laughs> Vegas trivia and just completely off at trivia in general. Yes, hey, yes, you know, young grasshopper. That's a good thing. You're okay. The uh, the first step is admitting you have a problem, Kylie. So you're on the right track. So this we we could talk Britney you. Spears, NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, if that's better, because I can I can totally live in that regard too. We can like debate. Okay, Jeff, if you could go back and go to one concert, NSYNC, ninety eight degrees, or Backstreet Boys, or New Kids on the Block. What do you choose? Um, or if you could see me? Jessica Simpson, Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, where do you go? <laughs> I would have went. I have seen the Backstreet Boys in con- concert. Okay. Um, in 1999, like at the height, like that was crazy. Um, I would. I would love to. It, it, like thinking back now, my God, it'd been cool to see Justin Timberlake back then. Back then, yeah. Back then, although I mean, I, I you know I grew up like the you know new kids with like the thing when I was younger and stuff. So. Oh, and I actually I'm, saw I'm, new I'm kids. A Donnie Wahlberg fan. Blue yeah. Bloods. I'm a fan. There you go. And, well, and I'm a, I'm a Mark Wahlberg. Well, Wahlberg fan too, which is not new kids, but you know. But close enough. I mean, thing, yeah. he's a funky bunch. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good call. Yeah. He's a funky bunch. Okay. Two right, truths two and a lie. Let me think here. Let me think here. Um, if you, if whoever is the first to answer this, this, uh, pick out the lie tr- uh, accurately, and first you get to pick whatever you want or uh, what we got. Okay. Right, hold on. We got some other stuff going there. New kids on the block. So we used to. Let me, let me stick with new kids for a second. When I was in um, high school, we, we would go to the, the boys' soccer team. We always tried to go and support the girls' soccer team. And we used to do this thing where we'd, we'd all be up in a thing, and we'd, uh, we'd do, you know, you know cheer, like, give me an O, give me whatever. We'd do a, give me an O, O, give me an O. And we'd do a bunch of O's, and we'd go, what's that spell? And we'd go, O, O, O. Oh, that's that oh one. Lord, cheer. have mercy. Because at that point, they were already, like, it was already, like, funny to sing. I don't know. Just saying. Uh, Nikki first concert was Backstreet Boys. Saw 98 Degrees. Uh, NSYNC as well. Road Bumper, Bumper Cars with Aaron, Aaron Carter. Carter. Oh. oh. You're basically, that's awesome. I have tickets to see Motley Crue and Def Leppard in June, though, on Sensi. Oh, wow. 
that's a connection. That that's legit. That's, legit. that's cool. Good stuff. That's All reason right, to get two, a yeah. Uh, okay. Two truths um, and lies. Sorry, I threw us off. You're okay. Um, Actually, I'm, I blame I blame Danielle for throwing us off. But go ahead. Okay. So, I think people know that I I travel a lot. Grew up as a a military brat, so I lived all over the place. I've always lived by beaches and seen a lot of a lot of the world. So we'll we'll kind of go with that theme. But if people didn't know it, now you do. So two truths and a lie. You identify the lie, and you're the winner. So you got to be the first one. And if you guess incorrectly, I'm going to say you're out of this. So they can't just keep guessing, guessing, guessing until they get it right. Is that fair? fair. First person. Okay. You get one guess. You get one. And guess maybe I won't even. Say, I won't say yes or no until we get a winner because I don't want to. That's not yep. fair, people. Right? Yeah. Wait till okay. you get a winner. One okay. guess. So, two truth and a lie. Um, I have lived in Cuba. I have a fear of squirrels. I have I never shot a gun. I think I know, but I'm not sure. Okay. Before you pick a winner, I want to guess after let me okay. have a bunch of people go through first. Let's see the answers. We are trying to distinguish the lie. So the question was shot a gun. So that's one, right, that's one guess. At? What is that? You're, you're trying to distinguish the, the lie. So it was, I've lived in Cuba. It was, I have a fear of squirrels and I've never shot a gun. Never shot a gun. Never shot a gun. Never shot a gun. You have lived in Cuba. So what you're guessing, Kate, is what is the, what's the, what's the lie? What's the one that's not true? Michelle thinks that so everyone uh, right you, now everyone's guessing never. Do you want to throw a guess out there real quick, Jeff? Let me. Um, I actually think that the the um, well, we got a fear of squirrels here as the the deal. I believed so. Ha hasn't lived in Cuba. I I think it's Cuba because I I feel like you told me a story about when you finally did shoot a gun, and I really really hope that you're afraid of squirrels. Okay, so yes, first of all, I have lived in Cuba. I lived in Guantanamo Bay at the same time like a few good men was being filmed to take you that, back there. It seemed too easy to me because of the military yeah. thing. So, right. I, I, yeah, I lived in Guantanamo Bay. We had the fence. We heard the minefields going off every night. We had all refugees right, so trying to get over truth. stuff. That's the truth. Um, when I was 12 years old, I had a paper route and had to deliver newspapers to an apartment complex. Was up on the second floor delivering papers to an apartment complex, threw a paper apparently a little too loud. It hit the porch and a squirrel started chasing me. By the time I got to the end of the block, it was a family of squirrels chasing me. I left, all my, afraid of squirrels. I left all my newspapers behind and kept running all the way home. The next day, <sighs> we went to go see Christmas Vacation at the movie theater and a squirrel jumps out of a Christmas tree in that movie, if you remember. So, um, yeah, I have a, so a fear lie. of so squirrels. You, you've never shot a gun. I thought you told me that you... So that is the lie because I have, you shot, have a gun shot a gun. Because yes, just a few weeks ago, if you remember, yes. on a Wednesday afternoon, you, went, you said, what'd right. you do today? And I said, I went to the range and finally shot a gun. Yeah. So the lie was that you never shot a gun. So you have yes. shot a gun. I have shot um, a gun. So the first person to say never shot a gun was Kylie Drake. Yeah. Kylie well, Drake, well look at you. You are good at trivia just as long as Dave Schmidt trivia. <laughs> Kylie, Which um, is a lot older than 80s trivia, just for the record. Kylie, yeah. you get the pick. You can have uh, our copy of Teach Better. You can have TDI stickers. You can have Teach Better stickers. Or you can have a shirt. Email me, jeff at teachbetter.com. Let me know address and let me know uh, if it's a shirt, like size and stuff like that. So, um, so that, that squirrel story, just for a little side note, because I we have like a minute to kill, whatever. Um, when I was a, a teacher, I was a language arts teacher, and I tried to get my students to write with more voice and more emotion. So I would tell that story, and I would write write the story for them, and uh, exp and then I would explain it. it's a true story, and I wanted them to to talk about the various emotions that are in this as I'm delivering newspapers on a whatever, and then I'm t running down the street. Um, I have probably five hundred plus squirrels that kids have bought me throughout the years that they get me just to like toy with me and to mess with me. Um, and just because kids are jerks, let's just be real. Kids got me a bunch of squirrels just to be mean to me. And my mom actually got me a little uh, squirrel this year for my birthday. She sent it to me just to be mean. So the squirrel yeah. thing is interesting to me. I have um, a guy I know that um, I worked with in a previous life that is, he was a big dude. He's 
He's probably 6'4", 6'5", 250, 260. Like a, a man's man. Scared. Just scared beyond belief of birds. Like, yeah, I can believe that too. Like just terrified. They're so unpredictable. They are so un unpredictable. This, but, but I just like he's such a Because he likes to be in I'd control run, of like, things. Like, he likes to predict what's going to happen and be able to take control. Like if you don't know where they're going. Came, I'd run to his house, his, his house so he could protect me. But then a bird come, he'd run away crying. But, like, I, but I get crazy. that. I get that. I get he's that. probably also a little bit triggered by like butterflies. Because they're like I, just. I don't know. I haven't seen them in several years. I'll have, I'm to, just saying, I'll have yeah. to find them and ask them. Um, let me ask you. I'm I'm trying to think. Like I, I'm like this is a, this is a weird one for me to do. I'm like, how would I do? What what two truths and lie would I do for myself? I almost I almost feel like I could do it on on types of businesses I've started. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't think that. Maybe we'll do that next time. Um, cause we are, we're at an hour. All right, wow. Want, okay. Yeah. We're on an hour. You got a Turkey to finish on, don't you? Uh, it's all thought it's ready to go. Uh, tonight I'm getting every, everything together. Like essentially just, well, Amy's already doing it, but we're going to like, just get everything set so that tomorrow morning I can wake up and get things going. Okay. Before I jump on live here for the Brennan break with Ray at 8 30 AM Eastern time tomorrow. By the way, we'll you guys have brought out that. the all-star lineup so far. This has been an epic start to the week with these drop-ins. I'm, I'm in it. I don't know. It's not all star, but like. Well, it was. I don't know. I, you start stars? soft. It's like you start with an appetizer, and then to get to the gusto. And you, 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 you did yeah. a nice, nice little intro on Monday. It was good stuff. No, you and Ray did an amazing job Monday, and then Titus on Tuesday, and Giordano today. I mean, come on, that's then, that's uh, big stuff. You know, Friday. <laughs> come on. What we got going on Friday? We got uh, Brandon Beck. Brand oh wait oh oh this is perfect how perfect is this uh huh uh huh just got it today that's awesome just got in the mail today oh shout out to Brandon uh so yeah make sure you check in on Friday for that but uh we'll be here tomorrow morning live um Master Chat is happening tomorrow night we like to always keep that consistent we have a lot of people who are not in the United States not celebrating Thanksgiving and by the way. Well, else are all staying home for Thanksgiving? So, like, you're going to be in your turkey night? coma, just chilling your cozies and pull out your phone. <laughs> Jared Hamilton's doing that. It's teaching competencies through arts integration into mathematics. It's going to be a really Ooh. interesting twist. Um, that's on, on that's stuff. fun. So that's fun. We do have the Black uh, Black Friday sale going on. So I'm going to throw that up real quick. Again, 50 percent off anything, any swag, and 50 percent off uh, courses. Um, there's also like a special like bundle we put together over on the, the swag site. That's actually a really sweet deal that you get. There's like two shirts, a mug, and a sticker. I think I'm, I I might actually have quite a few things sitting in my cart right now, so I'm, I just got to hit send. Yeah, yeah. Got to hit, got to hit, got to hit. Finalize yeah. on that. Um, yeah. So make sure you join us for that, and we'll be back next week. As always, uh, uh, daily drop-ins are continuing. Just in case you weren't aware of that those are going uh, through December uh, December 18th, and uh, continue that. I'm super excited. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm not sure if we're supposed to say it or not, um, but next week, next week. I'm not Next sure what week, we're talking about. <laughs> the first course ever on oh, teachbetteracademy.com yeah. by Mr. Dave Schmidt comes out next what? week. What? So look for oh. that. And I was talking about that a lot next week. So that's super exciting. Um, so anyway. We'll and see hold you. on, Holly, Holly. Holly, sorry. No, go check the news. Sorry. They got they 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 uh they postponed they it to Sunday. Postponed it because of COVID. Oh, you and Rob Breyer are not going to be happy. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. Two games oh, that the Steelers shucks. have been, yeah, right. <laughs> Those Steelers, they just, and just that's why they're ten another, and zero, though. That's why because they keep getting all these extra days to prep. That's yeah, not I'm even kidding. fair. It's it's not. It hasn't been fair to begin with. I'm calling. I'm calling it again. Someone when we talked the other night said they're going to lose in the NFC. I think I think the Steelers go. I think they're going perfect season this year. Nope. Nope. I think they're going perfect season. No. I'm really only saying that because I said that after game one. But by the very first game, but I think they're going going full season. The whole yeah. perfect, yeah. it just makes sense. Because no, think it about doesn't. It. Think about it from no. Think about it from a from a twenty twenty standpoint. It does, but yeah, it does. But also from a <laughs> Browns perspective, a Browns fan. If we get a playoffs, oh, let's say we even do like we win the first game, like that's like the Browns fan would be like, this is the most amazing season ever. So of course the Steelers would have a perfect season They'd that year. Pull that rug yeah, right off Monday. It yeah, makes yeah. Sense. It's twenty twenty for Browns fan. So anyway. 
Uh, appreciate everyone. Uh, the the engagement tonight was awesome. Uh, I hope you let us know. Tweet at both of us. We the team. If you like the games theme, it seems like it's working. We're going to keep doing this. Ideas are welcomed and encouraged for us to think of more fun stuff to do. I like the... I like the two truths in the line. I'm going to have to think through that. Uh, okay. You're such an honest guy trying to come up with any lies for your life, and you've done it all, so that's going to be tough. I lie all the time, though. Well. Like, constantly. <laughs> like, <laughs> now. What? Like, <laughs> anyway, all right. Make sure if you want something that you, that you email me, let me know. Uh, we'll see you. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone in the United States that celebrated. Uh, be safe. If you get to be with family, that's awesome. If you're Zooming with them, it's awesome. My big thing right now that I've been – talking to my family about my mom you know it's always been a thing for us to be at their house as i keep telling her hey like we're gonna zoom in it's going to be different but that doesn't mean it has to be bad and she finally got there and i was like so happy about the fact that she's like you're right like we still get to like share and laugh and whatever it's just coming through a screen so uh appreciate you appreciate dave see y'all it's been fun (laughs) 